All right, we're back, and this is Thursdays. I remember, right? I'm working towards getting two weeks ahead of this thing. That way, if I go on vacation, I'm well ahead. So, <laughs> since this is Friday, if we do one more, I'll be a week ahead. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> So yeah, uh, today uh, we are doing 31, 32, and 33, and 31 is a very long chapter, so you guys are going to listen to us talk for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh, so last time we went through all... Well, almost all the 12 tribes, uh, 11 of the 12 have been born, I think. Yeah. And uh, we, and the deal Jacob made with his father-in-law for the cattle. So we're going to keep that story going today. But before we get into the word of the Lord, uh, we need to say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for giving us your word to teach, to teach us how to live our lives better and how to worship you better. Give us discernment so it can teach us what you wanted to teach us and let it reach the ears that you wanted to reach. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. So, as you can see, we still got Amanda with us. She's she didn't give up on me yet. <laughs> I'm going to make her eyes hurt for the rest of the day, though. Reading all this. More trying to pronounce the names. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I've read this thing. I don't even know how many times. I still struggle with the names. And uh, I even used to, like, make it an effort to learn the names, like, Man, wait till we get to numbers. Oh, man. Oh, man. Some of those names get to be. They get to be. <laughs> but, uh, all right. So, she's going to take the first 27 verses here in 31, and I'll take the last 28 of them. It's a long chapter. Yeah. So, hope you're here to listen. Chapter 32. 31. 31. <laughs> She's reading ahead on us. See, she doesn't Sorry. want to do 31 either. <laughs> it's a long one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chapter 31. And he heard the words of Laban's songs saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's. And of that which was our father's hath he gotten all this glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of of thy fathers and to um, thy kindred, kind, kindred, kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent a called, sent and called Rachel and Leah to field onto his flock. And said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before, but the God of my father hath been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served your father, and your father hath deceived me. <clears throat> And changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, 
the speckled shall be thy wages. Then all the cattle bear speckled, and if he said thus, the ring start shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring start. Thus God hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up my uh, mine eyes and saw in a dream and behold the rams which leaped onto upon the cattle where rings start, speckled and grizzled. 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 And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here I am. And he said, Lift up now thy eyes and see all the rams which leapt upon the cattle are ring stark, speckled, and bristled. Bristled. <laughs> For I have seen all that Laban doth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thy anointed, anointed, and noticed the pillar, and where thy vowedest a vow unto me. Now arise and thee out of this land and return unto the land of thy kindred. And Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted of him strangers? For he hath sold us and hath quite... Devoured, devoured also our money. For all the riches which God hath taken from our father, that is ours, and our children's now then, whatsoever God hath said unto thee, do. Then Jacob rose up and said his, set his sons and his wives upon camels, and he carried away all his cattle and all the, his goods which he had gotten and the cattle of his getting, which he had gotten in Pandanaram <laughs> or to go to Isaac, his father, in the land of Canaan. And Laban went to shear his sheep and Rachel had stolen the image, images that were her father's. And Jacob stole away, uh, and Jacob stole away unawares to Laban, the Siberian. <laughs> Syrian. 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 In that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up and passed over the river and set his face towards the Mount Gil Gilead. 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 And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled. And he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days journey and they overtook him in the Mount Gilead. Gilead. And God came to Laban, the Syrian, in a dream by night and said unto him, Take heed that those they speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. 
Laban overtook Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mount and Laban with his brethren pitched in the mount of Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, what has thy done that thy has stolen away unawares to me and carried away my daughters as captives taken with the sword? Wherefore did this didst thy flee away secretly and steal away from me and didst not tell me that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs with tabret and with harp. Twenty eight. And hast not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters? Thou hast now done foolish in so doing. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spake unto me yesternight, saying, Take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. And now thou... Though thou wouldst needs me gone, because thou sore longest after thy father's house, yet wherefore hast thou stolen my gods? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, Preadventure, thou wouldst take by force thy daughters from me, with Whomsoever thou findest thy gods, let him not live. Before our brethren discern thou what is thine with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them. And Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the two maidservants' tent, but he found them not. Then when then went he out of Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the images and put them in the camel's furniture and sat upon them. And Laban searched all the tent, but he found them not. And she said unto her father, Let it not displease my lord that I cannot rise up before thee, for the custom of women is upon me, and... He searched, but found not the images. And Jacob was wroth and chode with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin? What thou hast so hotly pursued after me, whereas thou hast searched all my stuff, what hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge betwixt both, betwixt us both. This twenty years have I been with thee. Thy ewes and thy she goats have not cast their young, and the rams of the flock have I not eaten. That which was torn of beasts I brought not unto thee. I bear the loss of it, and my hand didst thou require it. Whether stolen by day or stolen by night, thus I was. In the day of the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from mine eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house. I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle. And thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely thou hadst sent me away now empty. God hath seen mine affliction, and the labor of my hands, and rebuked thee yesternight. And labor, Laban answered and said unto Jacob, These daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children, and these cattle are my cattle, 
and all thou seest is mine. And what can I do this day unto these my daughters or unto my children which they have borne? Now therefore come thou, let us make a covenant, I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones. And they took stones and made a heap. And they did eat there upon the heap. And Laban called it, oh, here we go. Jagar Hudutha. <laughs> Jigar, Jigar's Ahdutha. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with that. And Jacob <laughs> called it Galid. <laughs> and Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and thee this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galid. And Mizapah, and for he said, the Lord watch between me and thee when we are absent one from another. And if thou afflict my daughters, or if thou shalt take other wives besides my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness betwixt me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast betwixt me and thee. This heat be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. The God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge between us. And Jacob swear by the fear of his father Isaac. And Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount. And early in the morning Laban rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. And Laban departed and returned unto his place. Whoo! 31 down. <laughs> and that, look what happens when you bring false gods into the... Rachel brings false gods and brings all kinds of trouble under her whole family. All right, 32 is not quite as long. It's still, it's still a good one. It's a long one, but not quite that long. It has 32 verses. Yay, an even number. So it's 16 and 16. And a stretch. And a stretch. And a stretch. And a Charlie. And a stretch. And a stretch over Charlie. <laughs> I have a growth in my armpit. It has eyes and it growls. <laughs> Try to get back. We're trying to read the Bible here. Go away. Kitty Chad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you you can take the first sixteen, honey. Okay. Thirty-two. I'm not jumping ahead this time. And Jacob went on his way. And the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of the place Mah Mahanamim Mahanim. Nim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau. Esau, his brothers, onto the land of Seir. Yep. And the country of Edom. 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 And he commanded he and he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye speak unto the Lord S. Esau. Never remember. Esau. 
thy servant Jacob, Seth, 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 us, saith. Seth us, saith us, I have sojourned yep. with um, Laban and stayed there until now. And I have oxen and asses, flocks and men servants and women servants, and I have sent to tell my Lord that I may that I may find grace in thy sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We come to thy brother Esau. <laughs> Esau. Esau. Just think of Esau. It's Esau. Esau. And also he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid, and distressed and he divided the people that was with him and the flocks and the, the herds and the camels into two bands and said if Isa come to the one company and smite it then the other company which is left shall escape and Jacob said O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac the Lord which set us on, unto on me, return unto thy country and to thy kindred, kindred, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truths which thy, shall, thy has shown shown unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I become two bands. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the land of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. And thy said us i will surely do thee good and make thy seed as the sand of the sea which cannot be numbered for multitude and he lodged there at the same night there that same night and took of that which come to his hand a present of isa his brother Two hundred she goats and twenty he goats, two hundred ewes and twenty rams, thirty milch camels with their colts, forty kine, king, and ten bulls, twenty she asses and ten foals, and he delivered them them on into the hand of his servant, every drove by themselves, and said unto his servants, Pass over before me and put a space betwixt drove and drove. 17. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau my brother meeteth, meeteth thee and asketh thee saying whose art thou and whither goest thou and who are these before thee then thou shalt say they be thy servant jacob's it is a present sent unto my lord esau and behold also he is behind us and so commanded he the second and the third and all that followed the drove, saying, On this manner shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him. And say ye, moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will 
appease him with the present that goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face. Preadventure he will accept of me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company, and he rose up that night and took two took his two wives and his two woman servants and his twelve sons and passed over the and his eleven sons and passed over the Ford Jabok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. He said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him, and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore it is that thou dost ask after my name? And Jacob blessed him, and he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of that place Penel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Peniel, the son of rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of sinew, which shrank, but is upon the hollow of thy thigh. Unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew that shrank. Woo, 33 is a short one, but I love that part. Out of nowhere, Jacob is by himself in the wilderness, and all of a sudden this man appears and wrestles with him all night. And beats up Jacob pretty good. And said Jacob's leg was out of place come morning. But that's also when Jacob's name gets changed to Israel, which stands to this day. And Jacob says, I have seen God face to face. There's a lot of these, you know, I don't know how much, how far we are in the Bible so far. I don't know how much everybody's read along with us. But remember, there's three men that appeared to Abraham before he showed his Sodom. Two of them were angels. And who was the third one? There. Yeah. I have a very, very big idea of who it is. That's for another day. Because I said, now we're just reading through it. We'll do the study of it next time we go through it. But, yeah, I like these little snippets of a man in God that keeps getting called God way back. Yeah, before the New Testament. <laughs> All right, so we only got 20 verses and 33. We're going to knock this one out fast. So 10 and 10. Another even number. I like it. <laughs> All right. 33. And Jacob lifted upon his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him 400 men. And he divided the children onto Leah, and unto Rachel and unto the two handmaids. And he put their handmaids and their children foremost. And Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he passed over before them 
and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. And Isa ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the woman women and the children and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God hath graciously given thy servant. And the handmaidens came near and they and their children, and they bowed themselves. And Leah also with her children came near and bowed themselves, and after came Joseph, near and Rachel, and they bowed themselves. And he said, What meanest thy by all this drove which I meet, met? And he said, these are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that thou hast unto myself, thyself. And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee, if now I have found grace in thy sight. Then receive my present at my hand, for, for therefore I have seen thy face as though I had seen the face of God, and though was pleased with thee. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Take, I pray thee, my blessing that it that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us take our journey, and let us go, and I will go before thee. And he said unto him, My Lord knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and the herds with young are with me and if men should overdrive them one day all the flock will die let my lord i pray thee pass be over before his servant and i will lead on softly according as the cattle that goeth before me and the children be able to endure until i come unto my lord unto Seir. And Esau said, Let me now leave with thee some of the folk that are with me. And he said, What needeth it? Let me find grace in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way unto Seder, and Jacob journeyed to Suckloth and built him an house and made booths for his cattle. Therefore the name of the place is called Suckloth. And Jacob came to Shalem, the, the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan. When he came from Beda Aram and pitched his tent before the city, and he bought a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent at the hand of, his, of the children of Hamar, Shechem's father for a hundred pieces of money and he erected there an altar and called it <sighs> oh Eli El Ehore Israel eh, yeah that's what we're going with <laughs> there we go another day done Thursdays is done. And that was 31 through 33. Done. Woo -woo. Uh, uh, next will be 34, 35, and 36. And none of them are super long. They're all kind of like normal chapters, which I like. 
which I like. So I try to keep these things about 20 minutes if possible. These next two are going to be a little long. because they, uh, These last two, this one and the one before, will be a little long because we had some super long chapters. But, you know, if you can't tell, if you look at my Bible study, I've been trying to keep these about 20 minutes because I figure everybody's got 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. The nice thing about it, though, is that they can listen to it while they're driving. Exactly. Or just have, have it going in the background if they're doing, like, housework or cooking. Or working in the shop. Exactly. Or even brushing your teeth. If you brush your teeth for 20 minutes, you got the cleanest teeth I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes another song by Annika. And if you all ain't got Annika... Why the heck not? You should probably have picked her up by now. Um, you should have picked her up by now. Yeah. All right, I might have to come and smack you around. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of this one. And we'll catch you on tomorrow's, which will be Fridays. Next Fridays. Whatever next Friday is. I don't even know. I know Monday's the 14th because it's Valentine's Day and somebody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're already past that. Well, at least yeah. as you watch this, we're already past it. We're actually three days away from it still. <laughs> uh, but, all right. Never forget Genesis 9 3. And peace out. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Like